Punk Revolution, now today I'm going to be talking about G.G. Allen, one of the most controversial figures in punk rock history, really fucking bizarre guy. If you're not familiar with G.G. Allen, please take some time out of your day to read his Wikipedia page, watch some YouTube videos of him performing live and giving interviews, because this is, I mean, this is just absolutely fucking insane. This guy, first, I mean, there's just, where do I even start? His birth name was Jesus Christ Allen. He was the son of an abusive dude who was super religious and forced his family to live in a log cabin separated from the rest of society. He kept claiming he was going to commit suicide on stage during his performances. And oh yeah, probably the craziest part is his live performances where he would literally shit on stage, rub that shit all over his body, throw shit at people, take the microphone, smash it against his head until he was bleeding, rub some blood all over him, run into the audience, assault his audience, both physically and sexually, and he'd go to jail for assaulting his audience members and he claims to have raped people during his shows he, he there's he claimed to have raped animals during his shows very credible accusations when you see how absolutely fucking insane this guy is really bizarre like what it's a mind fuck read up on him and he's so controversial because some people see this and they're like okay this guy is just so extreme so hateful of society this is like the epitome of like the rebellious punk gg allen is like the ultimate punk rocker and other people see this guy and they're like oops no this guy is not punk he's abusive he's mentally ill he's a drug addict he's he's doing all these horrible things and using punk rock as an excuse to be a horrible person he's an asshole he's not really punk we shouldn't say that being insane and throwing shit at people is punk so it's kind of a debate so i want to kind of chip in my two cents on the debate is gg allen punk what is up with gg allen so i think you can learn a lot about gg allen by actually listening to his debut album that came out in 1980 always was is and always shall be so this album released in 1980 Gigi Allen still had hair. This was before Gigi Allen really went fucking insane and earned his reputation as just a fucking maniac. Wasn't throwing shit at people yet or anything like that. And if you listen to this album, it might catch you off guard because it's pretty tame. Like, yes, there are some, like, humorous and sexual and nihilistic and rebellious lyrics, but kind of what you'd expect from a, a 1980 punk rock album. Very much influenced, you can tell musically, by like the OG punk rock bands like the New York Dolls and Johnny Thunders and the Ramones and the Stooges. Like this is like actually like very like musically authentically punk. And if anything, it actually leans into the more like poppy side of punk. These songs are pretty melodic and like sometimes pretty lighthearted and fun and catchy. Not all that like naughty and bad and crazy. It's like, it's, it's weird. It's like you're telling me this dude who's releasing these songs, which are frankly really catchy is gonna go off and become this like outrageous asshole i actually get the impression that gg allen really does love punk rock like in my head this is a kid who grew up in an abusive household and then he found the fun and rebellious nature of punk rock music and fell in love with it and became a punk rock musician and it helped him heal from his traumatic childhood so i you know i i i i'm not gonna i i i, I actually think gg allen is really authentically punk to an extent but moving later in his discography, something goes wrong here. You can tell that maybe it's the fame got to his head, maybe him becoming famous led to drug use, or maybe, you know, given that his father was very clearly a mentally ill person, very abusive mentally ill person, maybe the all the stimulation of becoming famous kind of like activated some deep down mental illnesses in Gigi Allen, and they started to come out as he was getting exhausted from touring and being famous and drug use and sex, whatever. And then he went to prison, and prison is a horrible, horrible thing. Nine times out of 10, you end up coming out of prison a worse person than when you went in. That's a whole political thing. Gigi Allen went to prison for a couple years. He comes out after prison, you combine the drug use, the mental illness, the prison, the abusive childhood. It's kind of no surprise that this is the dude who ends up shaving his head and like going off full on like fuck the government, fuck society. I'm going to shit on the floor and eat it and fucking rape people or whatever. So like I'm not I'm not trying to excuse his behavior. Obviously this rape stuff like part of me is a little skeptical that he actually raped anyone. I think he says that in interviews to be shocking, frankly. I think he is some like a guy who just like really craves a lot of attention. But like, you know, I, even if, assuming he actually is like sexually assaulting people, that is absolutely unacceptable. There's no justifying that at all. But in terms of his like, the desperate need for a lot of attention and him, you know, going on stage and doing all these painful acts as sort of an escape from his otherwise miserable life. 
and of course doing a lot of drugs and stuff. To me, that is that is a sign of someone who is certainly mentally ill, someone who is disturbed. But the truth is a lot of people who are involved in punk rock are pretty mentally ill and disturbed people. They don't necessarily go as far as Gigi Allen. Gigi Allen had a, a particularly kind of fucked up background, which I think kind of led to a particularly fucked up musical act. So in the end, I'm going to say, yes, he's punk. The the more, you know, offensive, aggressive stuff is pretty not punk. Yes, he's anti-authoritarian. Yes, he's anti-government, which is punk, but he's more like, you know, anti-government in the sense he wants to destroy the government because he hates everyone and he wants everything to collapse and he wants to fucking just go violent compared to like the crass branch of anti-authoritarian punk, which is more like, let's take down the government and dismantle capitalism so we can replace it with something better. It doesn't sound like Gigi Allen wants to replace anything with anything better. He just wants to commit chaos. So it's like, there's punk there. It just seems like punk gone wrong. Punk that like went through a fucked up, like an especially fucked up life in mental brain breakdown and led to this fucking insanity. So I don't think people should dismiss Gigi Allen like, oh, Gigi Allen's not punk. I don't think so. I think he is punk. But I also think it's a mistake to say he's the pinnacle of punk because he actually is just like, some seriously wrong with him and I don't think that he deserves to be the face of punk rock musically he wasn't super innovative I really like his music but like honestly his more inappropriate outrageous music is not really that shocking because there's a lot of punk acts that do that although of course his live show is untouched on the level of intensity on the scale of 1 to 10 I'm giving Gigi Allen a, like a, an 8.2 in terms of how punk he is so yeah he's punk and honestly very entertaining like, I think that's, like, a big part of punk is to do abrasive and aggressive and nihilistic stuff in an entertaining way. And he certainly, he certainly does that. I mean, we're still talking about him many decades later, and he'll probably be talked about for the rest of history for his, uh, fucking just insanity. So, that's all I gotta say about Gigi Allen. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if you like Gigi Allen. If you, I mean, I like his music. I don't, I don't really care too much for it, but it's cool. So, that's all I gotta say. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. And go watch some videos of Gigi Allen because it's going to traumatize you for life like I did when I was a child. And then I eventually learned to love it because I'm crazy. I'm going to go fuck it. I'm going to shit right now.